Next on the list is meaningless versus meaningful. These seem like opposites. People want to have a meaningful life. People are pursuing meaning. But what they don't realize is that they create meaning. So ultimately, what you can become conscious of is that everything as an absolute is meaningless. Meaningless with a capital M. But the trick with it is that it goes full circle. So when you realize meaninglessness, most people think like, oh no, Leo, but if everything is meaningless, that's terrible. That's awful. That sounds like nihilism. That sounds like depression. It sounds like suicide. It sounds like that's going to destroy civilization. No, you don't realize um, yet how total and absolute meaninglessness is. Meaningless is so absolute and total that your judgment of meaninglessness as being bad is itself a meaning that you're creating. So you're not actually there yet. You're not at absolute meaninglessness. You're imagining what it is, but you haven't actually become conscious of it. When you totally become conscious of absolute meaninglessness, what you discover is that it goes full circle and it's the most meaningful discovery you could possibly make. That's the, that's the twisted irony of it. There is nothing more meaningful than to discover that the entire universe is totally meaningless. And when you realize this, then you realize that you have infinite freedom to create whatever kind of meanings you want because you realize that all meanings are fabrications. So you can still participate in the creation of meaning, but now you can do it consciously. You can create your own life purpose, whichever kind you want, whatever you find meaningful, um, you can still pursue, but this time you're doing it consciously rather than expecting society or some sort of external authority figure to tell you what is or isn't meaningful. And also what you realize is that being is way more meaningful than meaning. This is one of the paradoxes of awakening is that you lose all meaning, but at the same time, you can say in a metaphorical, uh, figurative sense, that actually, for the very first time, your life now suddenly feels meaning meaningful. Spirituality is so meaningful precisely because it's totally meaningless. <laughs> and this is what a lot of religious people don't understand. Religious people are busy chasing meaning and purpose in their life. And this actually paradoxically, is the chief obstacle to them discovering meaninglessness and to surrendering to it and therefore discovering God. So if you want to discover God, destroy all meaning. And all that will be left is God. Pure God is the Godhead. But how many religious people want to do that? They don't. They're in denial about it. Because really, it's the ego that creates meaning. The devil creates meaning. Not the Godhead. The God, the Godhead just is. It doesn't need meaning. The ego needs meaning as a function of survival. <laughs>